Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I will be going for number one in the Triple Draft Global Tournament. If you guys enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm just going to be, I guess, kind of going over my picks. I will take the Mother Witch here because the only really good card out of what he has is the Mother Witch. I mean, not Mother Witch, Night Witch and the Elixir Collector. And I already have Fireball for the Elixir Collector. And about the other picks, Log, Fireball, Firecracker, and Fisherman are just all cards that I pick nearly every single time. And I think I'll go for the Skeleton Dragons here. Oh man, I just got completely rolled by the wing conditions. I can't go Graveyard because I have Firecracker. And e Golem just sucks, so I think I'm going to have to go with the Goblin Barrel. He has Drill, Mega Knight, and E-Giant. I think he's going to go for the E-Giant or Mega Knight. I don't think he'll go Drill because I, I did get the Fireball. Unfortunate though, man. I was really hoping for like a Royal Giant or like a Giant. Something like that. Just uh, like a really nice beatdown win condition. It's alright though. I do have my bread and butter right here with the Goblin Barrel. <laughs> I love Logbait, man. Firecracker is one of the best Triple Draft cards. By the way, guys, Firecracker, Princess, and Magic Archer are must-picks in Triple Draft. Obviously, depending on the situation, but I nearly always pick these cards when they're available. Princess and Magic Archer because they are always reliable sources of damage with Magic Archer the Bridge, Princess the Bridge, and then Firecracker is just so annoying that sometimes just having her can completely win you the game by itself. Okay, I have Fisherman here for the Prince. I do have to be careful, though, of the Prince plus Zap combo later in the game. Looking like E-Giant, though. I'll just go for the log here. Man, if he has E-Giant, it could be in a bit of trouble. I don't have my Fisherman. Okay, wait. I can Skelly Drags, then I'm going to go for the Firecracker on the side. And then I think I could Mother Witch down over here. Should be pretty good value. That was really aggressive. I don't know why he went all in like that. He didn't really need to. Hold up. This is going to be a nice counter push. Two Skelly Drags, two Piggies, Mother Witch, Firecracker. And it's all gone. <laughs> Rip. Wait, I might get a bit of Barrel Chip, though. Yeah, not bad. Oh, don't activate the King. Oh, no. Okay, wait. I'm going to Goblin Gang here. He has Zap, but maybe I could get a little bit of Chip. Maybe one Goblin Stab? Okay. Not the worst. I am up a little bit of damage. This is going to be like a full defense game, I think, guys. Not really going to be too easy to break through. And defense isn't going to be really too easy either. But I really like the cards that I have. They have a lot of synergy together, other than, I guess, the random Goblin Barrel. But I have a lot of Spell Bait in this deck as well. He does only have the Zap for small spells okay he has poison too i'll just log i'm not gonna fisherman if i waste my fisherman it's just gonna be another repeat of the e-giant at the bridge but this time i won't have my skeleton dragons at least i can get a lot of value out of my firecracker like always but whenever they don't have arrows firecracker is so annoying i'm gonna barrel here electro spirit does full counter a goblin barrel though with the dagger duchess I think I might need to try to just get some good spell cycling. And maybe like a few Mother Witch Piggies. Mother Witch Piggies can always come in clutch for some damage. Okay, I'll Fisherman. I don't want to go for the Mother Witch just because he could get a really good poison. I'll just Firecracker. I kind of didn't really know where to put it, but I'll just put it over here. Then I can Mother Witch on the side. Wait, that was like the worst poison he could have done. It literally hit nothing. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang here. Oh no, the Mother Witch, come on. Live. Oh man, it died. Okay, it's not the end of the world though. I could get another fireball in this musketeer, but I don't think I'll take it because he might go in for the electro giant at the bridge. I want a firecracker right away. Okay, I'll fish her too. I'm going to log on the musky. Perfect. Nice damage. I'm going to go for the goblin barrel plus goblin gang. I should get some damage. He can only zap one of these and whichever one he chooses, I'll get damage from the other. Yeah, one goblin barrel here. I'm going to firecracker the bridge here for the night witch. Maybe get a few damage. Yeah, I get like 60 damage right there. I'm going to Mother Witch too. Could try to get some damage from her piggies. Wait, I'm going to Fisherman to grab that Musketeer. Okay, wait. This is actually a pretty good push, guys. I'm going to go for the Goblin Barrel. Nice. One piggy shot. Another piggy's going in. I actually need to spell a cycle him out and get some Mother Witch piggies. That's crazy. Oh, no. I think I just lost. I'm going to Goblin Gang Skelly Jigs. I need to kill that Prince ASAP. I'm going to Log here. I'm going to go for the Fisherman. It's going to pull the Prince first, but... I can't really choose. I think I'll take two E-Giant ticks. Okay, wait. I took one already. I think it's going to get one more. Oh, only one E-Giant tick. Really good defense. I'll Goblin Gang here for the Musketeer. Okay, wait. I'm not going to Firecracker the bridge. I'm going to Firecracker low because he's going to predict it since I Firecrackered the bridge last time. Oh, nice. <laughs> Amazing Firecracker right there. Okay, I'm going to Skelly Drags. I don't want to waste my Fisherman. Okay, I can Goblin Barrel here. Hold up, guys. He had to go for the zap. Wait, that might be a few barrel hits. Okay, one hit. I'll take it. I can go for the Mother Witch. He might E-Giant the river again. Yup. Okay, I'm going to Fisherman here for the E-Giant. I can Goblin Gang keep my Mother Witch alive. 
Skelly drags at the bridge to avoid the poison. Just log here so I don't take the damage. He's slowly catching up, but I think I should be alright. He has no spells, man. I'm going to Firecracker. I can Mother Witch. The Firecracker-Mother Witch combo is actually so good. I'm going to Goblin Gang here. Wait, I'm going to Fisherman to pull in the Musketeer. Wait, that Mother Witch could go crazy on the Night Witch. Bad Poison. I'm going to Skelly Dregs. Goblin Barrel. Hold up, guys. I think I won. I'm going to go for the Mother Witch. Okay. Goblin Gang 2. Bro, this is game over. There's no way that he can get enough damage to beat me in time. If I just save my Fisherman, I win. Firecracker here. I'm not going to Skelly Dregs right away. I'm just going to Skelly Dregs now. And that is a good game. Let's go, guys. Even he's surprised, man. I don't know how I won that. All right, guys. Next game here. I'm just going to go for the Poison. His only good spell there was Fireball. Okay. I think I'm going to take the Goblin Giant. Just because I feel like Hog Rider is kind of weak if he takes Mega Knight. And Mortar is obviously just bad in draft. Okay. I think I'll go for the Night Witch here. Night Witch works really good with the Goblin Giant. Okay, just going to take Log here. Log is just a no-brainer, especially when his other win condition choice was Ram Rider. I think I want Zappies because he also had the option for the Ram Rider. Zappies will help out against maybe if he has Mega Knight too. Okay, Skeletons I think are the best here just because Spirits don't make it to the tower anymore. Okay, I, I want Minions. Minions are more spell resistant. And then I think I want to finish off with the Miner here. Miner should be really good as well. A Goblin Giant Knight Witch Miner deck. This is actually a really good deck synergy-wise. I'm just really hoping he didn't take the Mega Knight because I don't really have any good tanks for the Mega Knight, like a Mini P.E.K.K.A. or something like that. Should be alright though. Either way, this deck should have a lot of outplay potential. Let's try to figure out what this guy is. Oh, he has the 20 win emo. Congrats, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to Night Witch here. I think I want to play more reactively in single Elixir. I could... Okay, I'm going to Goblin Giant here. The Goblin Giant will take out the Flying Machine. If he doesn't do anything, of course. Okay. He goes for the Prince. Goblin Giant will take it out if... He, okay, he goes for the E-Spirit. It won't take it out now. I think I can just go for the Minions on defense. My Dagger Duchess does have full ammo, so... Just Minions. Just need to figure out the rest of this guy's deck. Could be a really good Ram Rider deck, though. Ram Rider Prince Flying Machine looks kind of nice. Oh, no, he has the Executioner, man. I actually have nothing for the Executioner. That was a really good choice by him. I could maybe somehow outplay it, though, just with, like, the Goblin Giants in the back, but maybe Goblin Giant the back isn't really that good. Yeah, this is just looking like a Ram Rider deck, man. He has, like, the perfect bridge spam deck, actually. Okay, just gonna go for the Night Witch in the back, and then I can Skeletons for that bandit. I think I'm gonna want to let the Flying Machine go and just go in for a Goblin Giant, because he has no Executioner in hand. It's gonna Goblin Giant. Oh, he prints in the back at the same time. That's perfect. I'm going to go for the log on it. If he has Mega Knight here, that's kind of bad. But if he has Ram Rider, this should be a lot of damage. Okay, he just goes for the Executioner All Miner on it as well. Just to take care of it. It's not going to completely kill it, I believe. But it will get it pretty low. Everything will die to my tower. I think I just need to go for some more small pushes like that. And I should be good. This guy does have a really good deck, though, actually. Kind of underestimated this guy's deck. I thought he would take the Magic Archer, though, not the Executioner. Gonna Minions. Minions actually do get a lot of value whenever he doesn't have the Executioner. Usually he has the Executioner on defense, so Minions can clean up pretty well on the other sides. Okay, there's the Mega Knight. I'm just gonna go for the Zappies in the corner. I think I have to defend really good to win this. Oh, Goblin Giant, though, just to get value to the Night Witch. Otherwise, the Night Witch was completely useless. At least this way. Okay, I'm going to Poison, too. Night Witch will pretty much take out the entire Mega Knight. I'm going to Miner the Bridge here just to make sure that the Mega Knight gets taken care of. Okay, good. Looking really good, guys. Well, not really good, but looking winnable. He's going to Mega Knight, I think, at the bridge. That's what it's looking like. Okay, I'm going to Zappies here. I'm going to go for my Skeletons like this, and then I'm going to go for the Poison. I think I have to Defensive Miner, too. That Bandit is so annoying. You know, minions. All right, really good defense, though. Didn't take any damage. I am down a little bit of Elixir, though, so I have to be careful. He can't Mega Knight the bridge here. Oh, he can now. He has Mega Knight in Cycle now. Just going to go for the Skeletons like this. Wait, that was a really bad push. Hold up, guys. I'm going to Miner on defense. I think I can just go for my... Wait, hold up. I'm going to Night Witch, and then I think I could, could Goblin Giant other lane. Wait, maybe I could have Goblin Giant kited the Mega Knight. I think I'm going to Goblin Giant, though, at the river opposite lane. He has no Fireball, but he's going to Executioner, so I can't Minions. I'll just go for a Log, try to get a bit of damage. 
Nice, I get one hit. Okay, I'm in the damage lead now. I feel like this is going to be a chip race unless he messes up. Wait, what was that Mega Knight? I'm going to Miner here. That was a really bad Mega Knight. I'm just going to go for the minions for the Flying Machine. And now I'm going to Goblin Giant Kite like I thought I should have done before. Then I can just go for the Night Witch at the bridge. I'm going to Skellies first for the Flying Machine so I don't take the chip damage. Just in case he gets a good defense. And then I can just go for, for the Miner. Miner will get a ton of damage. Hold up, I think this guy just lost. I'm going to go for the minions here because he's going to Fireball. Perfect. What does he even have for this? He bandits, but that's going to walk back. I'm going to Goblin Giant the river again. Okay. He's going to Prince. I'm going to Log here. I'm going to go for the Poison. I'm not going to Night Witch. I think I could just send in another Miner. Kind of a predictable placement, but it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, nice. I think just Poison... Okay, Poison will take out the tower. I just need to cycle back. Skeletons, Log, and Poison. Let's go. Really good win, guys. I don't think this match was that good, actually. It seems like he had answers for everything. Fireball for Zappies, Snowball for Minions, XE Mega Knight Prince. He picked really well that game. All right, guys, we're in the next match. I'm going to take Phoenix, and he did have the option for Firecracker, so I think I want to take Arrows. He had Flying Machine, Princess, and Firecracker. I think the safest option is Arrows, just in case he took the Firecracker. That's what I would have taken. Okay. This is a weird one, but I'll take the Executioner. Executioner is just like the most solid one out of all those. And then I'll take the Royal Ghost. Royal Ghost is just really good. I th I'll, I'll take Fireball. I really like Lightning, but I think Fireball is more safe because he had the Flying Machine choice earlier. And these win conditions kind of suck. I think I'll go for the Giant. I think Giant's better against Dagger Duchess than the Goblin Giant. Is. It just has more HP. He either has Lava, Flying Machine. I mean, Lava, Hog, or Graveyard. I don't think it's going to be Hog, though. Hog's not good really against Dagger Duchess. I'll take Barbarians in case he takes Royal Recruits or E-Barbs. And I think I could just finish off with the Goblin Gang. Goblin Gang is really good as well with these kind of cards. He doesn't have the log option, so Goblin Gang should get a ton of value because he has no log available. No arrows either because I have the arrows. Okay, let's see here. I'm just going to Goblin Gang the river, try to figure out what his cards exactly are. Oh, he goes for the guards. Okay. Man, guards are going to be a little bit annoying. Guards are quite solid, actually, right now. Guys, I'm just going to go for the giant at the back. I actually don't think it's a bad move. Just because I have Barbarians, Phoenix, and Executioner, I think that I can defend no matter what. Okay, he has a Musketeer. Hmm. I think I'm just going to Phoenix. Phoenix should be pretty good, actually. Oh, and he has the Flying Machine, not the Firecracker or Princess. At least I have the Fireball. That's why, guys, even if you pick a card for one of their cards, you want to make sure to counter all of them, especially those ranged cards. The ranged cards are the most annoying ones. Not really the greatest Royal Ghost. I'm going to Goblin Gang here for the Musketeer. He still has to defend that, and he has no Barbarian Barrel for it. Oh, he's really going to give me all that damage. I'll take it. Dagger Duchess should clean up the guards. I think I might have to Arrows because of that one. Yeah. Okay. So he has Lava or Graveyard. Oh, there's the Graveyard. I'm going to Barbarians here. What a bad Graveyard. I think he went Graveyard because my Dagger Duchess was low on ammo, but I literally had enough for Barbarians. He only got one Graveyard hit, and he has to defend my Barbarians. <laughs> Interesting. Probably Musketeer in the middle. Yeah, there's the Musketeer. I think I could start up another Giant push, but I don't want to take the Musketeer shot. I think I'll just go for the Giant anyway, especially because the Barbarian hit the... Musketeer. I'll play it safe with the Phoenix. I can Royal Ghost here as well. Guys, I'm nearly number one, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw, but after the last game, I was number two. But I've been number two for like the last two or three matches. But every time I win, the guy above me always gets the win before I do. Okay, I'm just going to go for the Fireball here on the Flying Machine. That should be a giant hit. Nice. Okay, maybe two. Aw, uh, okay. He might go for a Graveyard. I'm just going to Executioner here in front of my tower because it will tank for the Graveyard and kill the Guards plus E-Barb. I'm going to Ghost here on defense. Pretty good defense, actually. That's not getting any RNG. He, he literally got zero damage. I'm going to go for the Giant, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to Giant in the back, guys. I have an idea. Maybe Barbarians the bridge could be really good. But first, I want to try stacking up like two Giants. I feel like stacking up two Giants could be really good. That was a bad Fisherman. That's going to pull it towards the tower, not away. Okay, I'm going to Goblin Gang here. Make sure I take out the Musketeer. I also have Executioner. He has no... Okay, I'm going to Barbarians the bridge. Yeah, it's going to block the E-Barbs. I'm going to Xe. It's going to line up with the Fisherman. I'm going to Arrows too. 
The e barbs are nearly dead. Hold up. I can go for another giant here. His dagger duchess is out of ammo. Giant? Yeah, that phoenix and executioner should live. I'm going to go for another phoenix. Yo, that should be a lot of giant damage. I'm going to fireball the musk. He'll probably e barbs too. Nice. Let's go. Really good fireball hitting both of the e barbs. Amazing value. I think with this damage lead, I win. I'm just going to ghost here on top of the e barbs. Oh, that ghost didn't even shoot. <laughs> okay, then. He could go in for a graveyard here, but I don't really think it would be that great. I'm going to Goblin Gang low, and then I can just go for the Giant Phoenix at the bridge. If he poisons, he's dead. Okay, wait. I think he's dead. Oh, wait. I need the arrows. Oh, no. No, 10% battery. Bro, I think 10% battery just costed me some damage. Come on, Giant. Give me a hit. Give me a hit. Give me a hit. Nice. I feel like I should have got more damage there, but... To be fair, I really don't have anything for the Fisherman, man. The Fisherman is kind of wrecking me. I'm going to Executioner again. Executioner is unkillable for him because he only has Poison, Barb Barrel, and a Fireball for that Muskie. Just want to start Spell Cycling. I'm going to Giant the Bridge. He could Fisherman again, but my Executioner will still get a lot of value. I'll just Phoenix in the corner again. Just play it safe. I could get a nice value Arrows here too. Why not? Just chipping out that tower slowly. Okay, I'm going to Barbarians here, and then I'm going to Royal Ghost at the bridge. I think I could Goblin Gang for the Graveyard, but it will also help kill the Flying Machine. I have a pretty good counter push. I'm going to Giant the River. I'm going to Phoenix too. Even if he has Fisherman, I think this is too much stuff for him to actually, like, defend and Graveyard. Like, I think he can defend it, but he can't Graveyard. And then I can get the Fireball Arrows on the E-Barbs. Look at that double Phoenix shredding everything. Okay, now I just play defense for the last 18 seconds or so. Easy win, guys. I actually played pretty well. I think I outpicked him here, though, with the Barbarians. The Barbarians were a really good call. Also, the Executioner. GG's, man. Just going to Arrows Fireball just to secure it. Actually, I'm not even going to Fireball and risk it. Just going to Ghost and Goblin Gang. Let's go, man. Let's go. Hopefully, this is number one in the world. Let me see here in a second. Please. Oh, no. We got the worst win conditions ever, man. I have to go Graveyard here. He probably took Goblin Giant. Goblin Barrel and Mortar aren't really too great. Oh, Ice Spirit here. Okay, wait. He got bad spells. He only has Lightning, I think. No way he takes Rocket or Earthquake with Goblin Giant. Okay, I think I want to go for the Inferno Dragon, even though I know he could have taken Lightning. Inferno Dragon doesn't die to a Lightning. Okay, Bowler works well with Graveyard, and I think if he does take the Sparky, Bowler is my best bet. Since he has the Sparky choice, I will also take Zap. Ooh, Recruits will be really good too. Recruits for the Goblin Giant and for a potential Sparky. Man, I want to take Firecracker so bad, but I know Flying Machine is the best choice here. Bats just aren't good against any of those except maybe the Phoenix, but obviously Bats are useless against Goblin Giant. So I'll go for the Flying Machine. I actually kind of like this deck. It looks pretty good. Well, pretty good for draft standards at least. A lot of annoying cards in here. He can't kill Flying Machine because I got the Fireball and the Poison pick. Okay, let's see what this guy's going to do, man. I don't really want to do anything to start off the game. I feel like it's kind of risky. All right, he snowballs. I'll just go for the flying machine in the back. Try to figure out his entire deck. I try to be at least as passive as I can be before I figure out their entire deck. Unless it's like a really important moment or where I know for sure I can kind of punish them. It's just not really too great to go too aggressive without knowing everything. Because sometimes you can get caught off guard and kind of get destroyed. Wait, I can bowler this. Man, I don't want to bowler that, but I just have to. I didn't have Zap and Cycle, unfortunately. Okay. That's the Hunter. I would have taken the Magic Archer there. I feel like these people pick so differently than me. I'm going to Zap here. Wait, that bowler is going to get two shots? One shot? Two shots? Nice. Really good start. And then I can Inferno Dragon for that Cannon Cart. Wait, you took Cannon Cart instead of Sparky when I know you have Goblin Giant? This guy's kind of crazy, guys. <laughs> I can just get a nice Royal Recruits at the bridge here. Oh, especially because he went Goblin Giant in the back. I'm going to go 4-2. to two. He should have to defend those two or it will get a little bit of damage over there. Oh, just Barbarians in the middle. Okay, I can just go for the Bowler probably. Ice Spear to get as much damage as possible. He snowballed. Interesting snowball. Bowler will clean up everything. He might get like one Goblin Giant hit or two. Not really the end of the world though. No Sparky, which is nice for me. He has a lot of graveyard counters, though, with the Goblins, Hunter, Barbarians. All right, a Flying Machine in the back here. Man, I really hope if I win this, I'll be number one because I feel like, bro, I've won, like, three games at number two and still haven't gotten up to first yet. 
Okay, wait, I can zap that just to make sure that the hunter gets finished off. And then I can just go for the Inferno Dragon Royal Recruits. I think this will be my main defense every time. Just Royal Recruits here. And he can't kill the Inferno Dragon. Even though I know he has Lightning, Lightning Snowball does not kill the Inferno Dragon. Lightning Arrows does, though. Wait, I can Flying Machine here. He can Hunter now, I guess. I'll Ice Spirit to predict the Hunter. Oh, I hit the Goblins. Wait, I can Graveyard here, though. He has no Goblins and no Hunter. He has the Barbarians. I could get a little bit of chip maybe, and also Bowler will just clean up everything on the left anyways. Nice, yeah, I'm getting some good damage. What is Bowler? Wait, what was that? <laughs> I'm just going to go for the Royal Recruits here, and this is going to support my Bowler as well. What is this guy doing? Okay, I'm going to Flying Machine here in the middle just to snipe everything. Wait, it's walking away. Oops. Wait! <laughs> Wait! He should be saying oops. I Bro, I didn't mess up. He did. That was completely calculated. If I just Graveyard here, it's over. Let's go! Man, <laughs> my messed up flying machine made him mess up his lightning. GG's. Let's go, guys. Hopefully, this is going to be number one in the world. Man, come on. Please be number one, bro. Please, please, please. I, I kind of got baited last time. Let's go, man. Finally. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.